What's up YouTube? At the end of every video, I end it by saying, you decide the outcome, don't be a patsy. And there's a reason why I say that. That's the first step, okay, is to admit, admit to yourself that we've all been conned, we've all been scammed, we've all, you know, been in denial about how bad things have actually gotten. And, you know, that's the first step. The second step is to educate yourself, okay? Don't fall for all the propaganda in the mainstream media and listen to, you know, all the lies and the deceit. Go out and find out for yourself. Do your own research. Educate yourself. Use your own critical thinking skills to decide for yourself what's reality. Don't be, you know, don't be told how to think. Think for yourself. The third step is to stand up and fight, okay? We all have to take a stand here in um, trying to get America back to the country it once was. We all can't just bury our hands in the uh, heads in the sand and you know act like it's just going to go away. It's not, all right? So I'm introducing this new vlog. It's going to be called the American Patsy Vlog. And it's going to be intellectual resistance while we still have it. And um, I, I thought a great way of starting this vlog would be to uh, show the representation of what I think America stands for, okay? And I was on the Drudge Report the other day, I saw this outstanding paint, painting by John McNaughton, and it was called Stand Your Ground. I'll show it to you real quick. Uh, and it's right there. It's absolutely beautiful painting, um, and that's what it's all about, okay? Brave men and women willing to sacrifice it all for, you know, freedom and liberty, everything that this, the principles that this country was founded on, okay? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, John McNaughton, um, he had this to say about the, about his painting. Quote, America is about freedom. We believe in strong families, patriotism, God, and justice. We don't. We won't bother you if you don't bother us. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. He said, I wanted to paint a picture that represents why I think gun ownership is important. Since our country's inception, we have proudly believed in the right of each citizen to own firearms. No man or group can take these unalienable rights from us. He says, the man in this painting could be any American patriot responsible, well-trained, and won't back down from any kind of aggressor. And, you know, that's exactly how I feel. That's how I was raised, and I'll leave his website and his YouTube channel in the description. Go check him out. We need to support people who are pro-America, who are pro-Constitution, who are pro-Liberty. You know, the people that um, support what made this country as great as it, as it was. And, you know, I'll give you a little background on myself. Um, my father uh, was uh, in the 3rd Battalion, 9th Marines in Vietnam, okay? And they were called the Shadow Warriors. They came in and relieved the 1st Battalion, 9th Marines, who were called the Walking Dead, because it was just a slaughter for them. They, you know, didn't know what they were up against, and, you know, it was just a slaughter, and... You know, that took its toll on my uh, father, and uh, I definitely was influenced by, you know, his sacrifice. He, you know, he received the Purple Heart, um, he suffered from PTSD, survivor's guilt, flashbacks, he tried to drink the pain away pretty much my whole um, youth uh, as, you know, growing up. And, you know, one of the best memories I have of my father was, believe it or not, my first day of kindergarten, I got jumped by uh, two first graders and their older brother. The two first graders were twins, and their older brother was um, in fifth grade, and he held my arms, and the two twins just whacked away at me, okay? So I come home bawling my eyes out, and my dad, you know, being a Marine, <laughs> grabs me up and he looks at me and he says, if someone hits you, you hit them harder. And that is what America is all about, okay? Brave, the, you know, the land of the free, the home of the brave. 
we, we don't back down from aggressors. Just like John McNaughton's painting, A Stand Your Ground. You know, he said any patriot who will uh, defend li freedom and liberty and uh, against any kind of aggressor, okay? And, you know, that's what America is. We're, you know, we're not a, a country of protectionists, okay? We're a country of Americans, strong, independent, brave Americans, all right? And, and what, what this country is leaning towards is protection, you know, um, being afraid of everything. I just watched uh, on Infowars.com a um, little, it wasn't even satire. Uh, one of the reporters went out on the streets of Texas and had 20 people, or 14 out of 20 people, sign peti a petition saying that they would uh, want all um, uh, citizens to wear helmets while they're walking. I mean, give me a break. What is this country coming to? Where, where are the strong and, and independent and brave individuals that, that still have the principles of this country flowing through their veins, okay? These are American values. When my dad, when my father told me that, that stuck with me throughout the rest of my life, okay? And, you know, it's not about running and, um, you know, going and telling the principal. It's not about going and crying, you know, in your pillow and, you know, not going to school because you're scared. It's about getting over your fear, facing it straight, you know, head on, and hitting them harder than they hit you. That's what it's about. That's American values, okay? And, um, you know, now we're getting into this Obamacare garbage, okay? And, you know, I read on Drudge Report, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius uh, related Obamacare to iPhone system upgrades or updates, okay? Like, as, as, as if healthcare isn't confusing enough, we're going to try to change it every five minutes on us. How many of you are um, get completely frustrated with YouTube changing their formatting all day long, Facebook changing their formatting, now you have a new uh, iOS uh, software platform you have to learn? I mean, it, it, uh, sometimes, you know, this constant thinking we can outdo ourselves, we're just digging a deeper hole, Okay. And, you know, the first step, if you want Obamacare, is to uh, call 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-O. Know you. That's right. If you, if, if the, uh, the uh, Obamacare phone line uh, is 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-O, uh, and that's the national hotline, okay? 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-O. Hmm. All right, and in an article by Forbes, um, they revisit yet another failed promise by the Obama administration, stating it would reduce premiums $2,500 for a typical family, okay, per year. All right, however, experts from uh, the Medicare's actuary have stated Obama's, Obamacare will increase health spending by $621 billion in the first 10 years, all right? An average cost for a family of four uh, will increase over seven thousand dollars a year, seven thousand four hundred fifty to be exact. All right now, the question here is, how are families going to pay for that with part-time employment? And that leads into my next article. Okay, U.S. employers slashing work hours to avoid Obamacare insurance mandates. All right, places like Forever Twenty One, Trader Joe's, Home Depot, Sea World, with over eleven uh, locations uh, throughout the country. They're all slashing unemployment to get it to uh, try to duck these Obamacare mandates, all right? So <clears throat> now you got a uh, met uh, health care that's going to be raised almost $7,500 a year, and you got uh, employment uh, that's pretty much standard uh, part-time, 20, 30 hours. You can't even get a full-time uh, job anymore in this country, you know, uh, unless it's... Um, Defense contractors, health, uh, you know, like uh, pharmacy, uh, hospital type stuff, or service industry, food, you know, uh, that's about it. Um, the example in this article um, in The Guardian was a woman, she was making $9.25 an 
cents an hour, had a $50,000 student loan debt, and she's going to be paying for a $1,500 uh, insurance program, uh, all right, insurance plan. And, you know, between the student loans, her health care, gas to get back and forth from the eight jobs she's going to have to have, all the eight-time part-time jobs she's going to have, uh, how's she going to eat? You know, people without critical thinking skills can't see this coming. They want to rah rah all day long, and they can't even see this coming, right? Uh, and don't give me these crooked, uh, these cook uh, job increase numbers just because people fell out and gave up on on looking for a job. Don't mean that there's more jobs, okay? I ain't buying it. Say that to some other sucker, right? Now, also in Obamacare, Obamacare provides seven thousand two hundred dollar divorce incentive. Uh, 11000 for older couples, okay? The Obamacare calculator provided by the pro-Obamacare Kaiser Family Foundation showing how Obama, uh, Obamacare's tax credits work, all right? And that's from uh, truenews.com. I'll leave all the articles uh, below um, so you guys can read these articles for yourself. So what do you guys think of all this? You know, you got patriots being demonized all over the place. You got gun owners being uh, vilified at as mass murderers just because they own a gun. If you own a gun, all of a sudden you're, um, you know, responsible for all the nutcases that want to go out and mass murder people in a cowardly fashion that won't step anywhere near any place that's pro-gun. It's always uh, a place that, you know, is anti-gun, you know, it's a gun-free zone, so it gives these guys just an open door to just start massacring people, okay? When, when all it takes, you know, if you, if you are going to try to stop a crazy guy with a gun, it's going to have to take a good guy with a gun, period. End of story. It, it's not rocket science. It's, it's common sense, right? But you've got all these protectionists, you know, thinking that, you know, guns are bad. And if you own a gun, now you're a mass murderer. And everybody's scared of guns. You know, the only reason people are scared of guns, because they don't know anything about them. As soon as you know a firearm, you become intimate with guns, you become intimate with, you know, uh, self-defense and, and protect yourself with a firearm, there's nothing to be scared about at all. You actually have a uh, that insurance of protection and, um, you know, anything to be scared about goes away. Uh, families are being ripped apart uh, like we saw in the, uh, the true, uh, true news.com or I'll leave the link down below where you have incentives now to get divorced. If you're married, you're four, around four years old, you got your family, typical family of four, you're getting taxed, uh, you know, you're, you're out, you know, $7,200 a year. If you get divorced, that's $7,200 in your pocket. That's called a divorce incentive, okay? And the, the, this is supposed to be good for families. If, if you're older than 40, it's even more, $11,000, right? Full-time employment's becoming ex extinct all over the place. You know, people are either cutting back hours or uh, laying off people right and left. Um, Obama continues to scam, disrespect, and downright slap Americans in the face with the 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-U. I mean, how many, time, how many times does, do, do, do we have to be disrespected and slapped in the face before people stop rah rah in a political party? When are, when are people going to wake up to the false left-right paradigm, right? They, they want to, uh, you know, rah-rah the Democrats and blame the Republicans and the Republicans, vice versa. They're both two sides of the same coin. If you don't believe that, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, man. Go do your own research. You're way behind the power curve here, right? If you're still rah-rah in a political party, right? Um you know what what is that what do you guys all think about this you know any any with the obamacare anytime you're going to ha you have it's a mandate you have to have or you get fined this isn't liberty <laughs> this isn't freedom this isn't independence okay and all, basically the summary of it is you're losing money to be married and have some and have some kids okay it that it's drastically reducing employment uh hours for people uh worked okay and uh you can't find we you can't even sign up for it 
and and even when you try there's so many glitches in it and it's it's such a failed project that you can't even sign up for it and even if you were to go sign up for it what not what number do you dial right off the bat 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-L very nice very nice it's time for Americans to wake up it's time for us to gather back are the principles that this country was founded on and stand up for them. As always, you decide the outcome. Don't be a patsy.